Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Tuesday, June 11th, around 7 p.m. Mountain Time 2024. South Florida to be drenched by a month's worth of rain from a system being watched by the National Hurricane Center. Holy macaroni. Keep calm. It's boom time. What caused Monday night's storm damage in South Carolina? Well, apparently it was the storm. The storm produced large hail in Southeast Georgia as well, and some of them golf ball size. As storm damage is reported in Castle Rock neighborhood from heavy rain and hail. Holy hail. This is becoming a pattern. This storm is the worst I've seen. Hail pummels eastern Colorado farm. And the storm brings feet of hail to mile-high farms in Bennett. Expected. Oh, I've been here since 85. But Sunday still managed to surprise him. This storm is the worst I've seen since I've been here. He took us out to check the property. I'm going to have to change my socks tonight. That's covered in feet of hail in certain spots. This one just came out of the blue. I knew that there was a chance of severe weather today, but, you know, until it hits, you know, it can go to the north or to the south, and this time it hit the bullseye. His first concern is the livestock. This is Barrett, and the other one is Jackson. And time will tell when it comes to the crops. Some may need to be replanted with many submerged. It's a risk that you always take in farming. Plus the rushing water. Fox Elder Creek, and 99.9% .9 of the time, it's a dry creek bed. No water in it, just a, uh, uh, just sand. Means they'll be cleaning up for a while. I have no idea. You just, uh, just start doing it and it takes as long as it takes. But for coil. I'm happy that the animals are okay, and uh, I think that we can deal with the crops and stuff. It's what he's come to expect from the lifestyle he loves. Club. Well, that certainly was a tearjerker for that farmer, but he is not the only one. Here's the hail map for June 10th. 67,182 impacted by hail, one inch or larger, and 350 Households impacted by that gorilla hail, that is one square mile of gorilla hail yesterday. And as we said, South Florida to be drenched by a month's worth of rain from a system being watched by the National Hurricane Center. Flood concerns are rising in Florida this week as a month's worth of rain could fall in just a few days from storms fueled by tropical moisture streaming in from the Caribbean. Some models showing up to 13 inches in just the next three or four days. The rain is coming from broad and disorganized area of storms stuck over the state. By late week, the National Hurricane Center gives the storms a low chance of organizing into the first tropical depression of the hurricane season as it moves off the coast. But that is not the big worry when it goes over here because it's going to move out into nowhere. The big worry is the rain it's going to bring to the peninsula. Currently, just a 10% chance of cyclone formation in the next two hours. Let's look at the full forecast. We've got excessive heat and severe weather and heavy rainfall concerns for today. Dangerous heat continues for the southwest and portions of California. You can see those warnings out in magenta. The heat will also be of concern for lower elevations of Puerto Rico and USVI. A few severe thunderstorms are expected across portions of the southern plains and the upper Midwest. Across Florida, a plume of tropical moisture will continue to produce showers and thunderstorms with heavy rain and possible flooding for days. Let's take a look at the GFS model. You can see the deluge now in southern Florida is happening now. Three hours from now, it may decrease, but then it increases and it continues to rain through Thursday. And Friday and into the weekend here, Saturday and Sunday, it's never ending. What a fun day. Take a look at that. There's going to be some relief early in the week here, but another tropical disturbance looks like it's making its way up on Texas by mid-June. 
So we could be seeing some tropical activity developing over the next few weeks. Let's take a look at the total accumulated precipitation and see what I mean by that bullseye uh, in Florida. Whew, holy macaroni. That yellow, that yellow spot, that means 14 inches or more. And that is going to start around June 14th. So just three days from now, areas of central Florida there could see 14 inches. And it's going to continue for some time. And then the 14-inch number hits Texas by mid-June. Holy boom. Is that even a thing? Extreme spinach shortage due to flooding and cold weather. I thought we're all burning up. Well, not so much in the Netherlands or in Denmark either according to Heinrich Butenhus, but currently many crops are facing significant supply issues due to water damage, including spinach. Thank you, Hunka Tonga. We're at a standstill and can't harvest, says Corn Bin from Breda, who cultivates 60 hectares of spinach annually. The majority of the fields are flooded and the cold weather is preventing growth. The issue, according to the spinach grower, is causing additional delays. We've experienced heavy rain or hailstorm storms before, but usually we could get back to work relatively quickly. Now we haven't been able to harvest since Tuesday, which was their lose day. Sign of the times. Seismic update. No quakes of note. Moderate activity worldwide. Nothing of significance. As we move to worldwide volcano news, Samaru to 15,000 foot today, Dukono to 9, Ibu to 20,000, Dukono to 9, Dukono to 9, sound like a broken record, Sabankai to 22,000 feet, <laughs> Merapi puffing to 14,000, Samaru to 15, Nevado, De Ruiz puffing all day, Liwa Tobi to 10,000, Fuego to 16, Ibu 20,000 20, foot puff, that was significant, Reventador to 14, Dukono. To 9,000 foot, Sabankai to 24, Medapi coming in at 14,000, Ibu puffing to 20,000 foot with some explosive activity. Semaru, who knew? Now you do. 15,000 foot puff. Nivato de Ruiz, possible puff. Isn't it fun just to read them off every day? Sange, 19,000 foot puff, and not that gay at all. Space weather for June 11th. The sun has taken a nap dropping down almost into the B range as I think solar max is over and the sun is now going to go to sleep. Just a few sunspots on the disk. Let's take a look. One, two, three, maybe four or five active regions that are actively active, but no activity coming from those regions. The last two major shots were over 24 hours ago, the X1.5 here and the M9.5. Three-day geomagnetic forecast is for psychic abilities throughout the week. We're now down to KP1. How fun. We thought it was impossible, but water frost on Mars was discovered near the red planet's equator. Its existence here is exciting, and it hints that there are exceptional processes at play that are allowing frost to form in, well, it's not a volcano, let's be honest. This is an electrical scar. Yeah, this is an electrical discharge blister. Just like in welding, this is has none of the features that a volcano would, like lahars, flows, and other things down the side. And it's just suspect in its shape and form. So the electrical blister from plasma scarring is developing frost. Here is an, a image, an image of Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano, which is not a volcano. It's an electrical scar. Not only on Mars, but the entire solar system, as far as we know, which is probably not true at all anyway. So why say it? We, we know less than a billionth of a percent of infinity. So anyway, that's a different podcast. But they actually found, found some frost on these plasma discharge features. And guess what? They're baffled. You know, it's not baffling. A company that is worker-owned. And not only that, they provide the cheapest seeds on earth that are open pollinated and non-GMO. I'm talking about the Alliance of Native Seed Keepers, our affiliate. Go get some seeds, support the channel, support your peace of mind, and get growing. Time is running out for your preparedness, your peace of mind, your self-sufficiency, 
and for the rest of the planet. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are shadow banned. We need your help to grow. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do and watch all of our podcasts in one place, commercial free. But most importantly, be safe. Get the seeds. We love you. And that's a boom. Mm -hmm.